here we have the wild sea lions of Mar del Plata. There's a natural reserve over here for the animals. <clears throat> we have the beautiful, typical boats here. They're all orange. They come here after a hard day's fishing and check it out guys, just sea lions everywhere. It really is a natural reserve though. Right here in Mar del Plata and the animals just hang around here. I'm pretty sure they get a lot of free grub. But this is the start of the video guys. Argentina is known for meat. A lot of steak is very plain and you can get some of the best meat in the world. However, here in Mar del Plata you can get some pretty darn good seafood. So we're on a seafood hunt today. Hold on, why are you taking the camera? What are you doing? Better... Alright. Oh my cousins. They sleep like me. I, I can't even lie. Look, 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 look. Look. <laughs> oh, I like them. I like them. All right. By the way, guys, this is the lost cousin of the sea lions. She's joining us on this vlog. <laughs> All right, guys, look at the sea lions. Here we have. This lone sea lion. He just came back from fishing, but he's out of luck right now. It's low tide. So he's been trying to figure out for the last 10 minutes how he's gonna get up here, but it's not happening. Biker girls, I like it, I like it. Hey, we're fu <laughs> Alejandro's getting coima mode. Alrighty, so we're following Alejandro to the beach over there. You wanna see more sea lions before the sun completely settles in the old shipyard of Mar del Plata, Argentina. That's a sea lion carcass right there. And I have found, whoa. All right, so this puts all aquariums to shame, guys. This is a sea lion beach over here in the middle of this pier with nothing but sea lions. Have a look. You can see the males there fighting for space. Very aggressive animals, extremely territorial. The males, they'll fight for as many females as they can get in their harem. This is Nat Geo Live, guys. Right by the city. Nightfall has caught us. It's a decent little walk to the sea lions, but now we're all alone in this pitch dark road trying to get back to mainland. I can't even see Alejandro. There you are. I don't know. <laughs> we're almost back to the poor guys. You really got to go out of your way to see these sea lions. But right now it's the breeding season for them. That's why these males, their testosterone levels are just skyrocketing. Like they're just growling and just claiming territory the whole time. We have made a friend, he's the guardian dog of the port. And there's a very nice walk back there guys, they sell a lot of seafood fresh, as fresh as can be, you guys saw the fishing boats, they come in, everything is fresh but they're all closed now, however, we might be in luck. This seems to be the only place open here around the port, everything else is, is looking like that. 
so oh wow the, the, the price looks really good already guys so oh <laughs> it's not that funny check it out guys you can get a paella for like eight dollars Wow, what a fight. No, no, because he's got his back looking for him. All right, guys, not just the sea lions that are territorial, it seems just all males are territorial. Testosterone. This is the restaurant we have found, guys. Right, so these are their drinks. I'm feeling like white wine with seafood goes well, but it's just chilly outside. So I think we're gonna go for for a Malbec. Gracias. Bueno, entonces. Entonces, eh, bueno, ya pusimos las entradas. Sí. A mí me hace el pescado que tú recomendaste. Es bien bueno. Abadejo. Ajá. ¿A un abadejo con qué? ¿Con, ¿Con fritas, puré? Puré, puré de papa, por favor. Un abadejo. Y eh, para ella, ¿qué es lo que tú quieres? Una cazuela de mariscos. Por favor. <risa> Bueno, te comento, el sistema de la casa es abonarante, ¿sí? Mercado pago efectivo. I've been given the bill already. And basically the way it works here is you get the bill and then you go pay and then they'll cook your food. All right, so this is the kitchen. Bueno. <laughs> and basically, I, you pay first. Aquí se paga primero y después Vale, bueno, aquí está. Ajá. Ok, vale. Vale, pues. Alright. So ahora, ahora sí preparan la comida. Dale, pues muchas gracias. Alrighty, guys. So that's how it works over here, guys. It's so warm in here. I wish I could have, I would have sat here earlier. But basically, you get the ticket, you go pay, and then they start cooking up your food. And well, the red wine is hitting now, so. Or a lot warmer. How's Alejandro doing? <laughs> so you get all this, guys. You get a, a bucket of ice. Maybe it's for the wine. Some people like to have red wine. Cold or chilled. Lime, bread. Alejandro's looking chilly. We're right at the port, so like... Yeah, when the wind hits, it's like... Drink more wine, drink more wine. It'll take care of that. Alejandro, I could barely see you. Hold on. Like a bound. All right, there we go, all right. That way, guys, if you're wondering about the old champ, he's right there guarding. The waitress told us that he's a street dog, but he comes here and he kind of just, he marks it as his territory and he's been getting a lot of fights recently. They feed him over here, he's well taken care of, which is why he fights for this spot. Old timer. Alrighty guys, so this is the small portion of fried calamari. You can get the large, medium, or the small. I'm glad we got the small, because well, it's quite a lot of them. And empanadas. Argentine empanadas, guys. We got one of langostino and a calamari one. These are baked. Horneadas, no? Oh, it's nice and hot. You want to do the honors? Yeah. Alright, go. You go. <laughs> there you can go. Oh, look inside of it. Langostino is basically shrimps. Está caliente. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. Very hot. Very interesting. I don't think I've ever had a shrimp empanada before, but it was a very interesting find. Nonetheless, the shrimp was really fresh. What do you think? 
Me recuerda un poco a las empanadas este, ¿sabes? de la costa venezolana y colombiana. Bueno, no, no colombiana, venezolana. Pero estas son fritas y con harina de maíz. Y estas son con harina de trigo y horneadas, pero son empanadas, en fin. Están ricas igual. Está buena con el camaroncito. I like it. Can't wait to try the calamari one. Pretty sure this is some mayo. I want to soften up my empanada, but I thought it was a bit on the drier end. Yeah, it's just mayo there. But we've been given the almighty lemon to go with seafood. Ooh. Let's give that a go. Mm. And that is the way this is supposed to be had. Mm. You're back. Back just in time to try the calamari stuffed empanada. Parece como un croissant, no? Uh huh. It looks like the media lunas here, little croissant. Yo creo que será la idea. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. No me imagino ese sabor. No quiero ver, no, no quiero probar, pero quiero ver. Mm. Interesante. Yeah, I didn't expect that color in there either. Yo no como porque es mucha harina de noche. You don't want? Alright, more for me, but I'm gonna lemon this baby up. Quisiera, pero no puedo. I'll do all the honors, guys. Sauce it up, juice it up, all that. Mmm. Mmm. More lemon juice, please. Como si fuera poco. Do me gusta. The calamari in there have been sauteed and seasoned up. I like it. Mm -hmm. Check out the napkins here. They're like, they're like plasticky. No. Solo tienes que quitar la servilleta está adentro. De plástico. Mira. La servilleta en un plástico, cielo. Oh! Estoy limpiándote con esto. She had one before me and she said it was plastic y and I, I heard the noise. I was like, oh. Okay, parece plástico, pero era la envoltura. Alright, so there's a regular napkin inside of a plastic covering. I guess it is more hygienic that way. Nonetheless, we're moving on, guys. It's time for one of my favorite things. The super fresh calamari. And basically, I'm just gonna try them for freshness and test out the batter. Fried calamari is fried calamari. Mm. Oh no, but esto es, no, está excelente. The breading is excellent. Mm. A little more lemon juice. Esto está excelente. Seven hundred pesos, guys. Like. Almost two dollars USD for this portion of calamari. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo que se llama? Abadejo. Abadejo. Vale. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. All right, guys. Local fish. I love the simplicity. Mashed potatoes. Alejandro's dish looks. Interesante. Interesante. Yeah, it looks potent. She was about to begin just Alejandro style. <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm going in. <laughs> I'm like, hola, we look. Let's film the reaction. All right, let's do it. Cazuela. 
Dios. De esto hablaba. Esto sí sabe a mar. Definitivamente. Tienes que probarlo, mira. Tastes like the ocean. Mm -hmm. Mmm. All right. Sí, es que tiene que saber. I'm feeling like we're finally at the spot, guys. Este es el tercer restaurante de marino que hemos probado. El mejor. Definitivamente so hemos far. probado. Este es el tercero. Bueno, la tercera es la vencida. Pero sinceramente, nosotros no, no no dieron la talla. Este está excelente. O sea, es que se ve como que, mira. Ni siquiera, es una cazuela, es como una tipo sopa, pero no se le ve ni siquiera el caldo, es como más mariscos. Es just seafood, they're just a little bit of raw. Pero, o sea, el sabor que tiene es excelente. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. Buenísimo. Uh -huh. <laughs> bueno. And you know, one of the things that like um, on the menu they have the fresh catch of the day. And when I asked about it, I wanted that. She said, oh, we don't have a fresh catch, a fresh catch today. We have these other fresh catches, but it's not like, you know, something rare that they caught. So I like the honesty that they actually have a catch, a fresh catch of the day. You see that thrown around on menus a lot of times and it is usually never a fresh catch. It's just the same thing over and over. And let's, let's try this guy out, guys. It's been lightly breaded. It's a fillet of the fish that she mentioned, and we're gonna try this. I put some lime on it, lemon. Mmm. Mmm. ¿Qué tal? Delicioso. Sencillo. Nada fuera este mundo. Pero hecho muy muy bien. Sí, sorprendería, pero el pescado eh, es sencillo, pero quien no lo sabe preparar, lo daña. Muy sencillo. Pero fresquito. I invite you guys to just close your eyes when you have some fresh fish, just close your eyes and let it dissolve and melt in your mouth. Tú le colocaste limón a todo, me gustaría probarlo sin limón. Mm, probablemente la esquina. Así uno sabe bien. Mm -hmm. Dios, está buenísimo. Bien sencillo, pero. Brutal. Brutal. A gem. The first place we went to, I'm not gonna put names out there, but they're really not the specialist in seafood. Then the second place was good. It was good, but it's just we waited an hour to get in, mm. and it was good. But this right here, we're right next to the dock. This is where it's at. <laughs> this is lovely. I love mashed potatoes. Real mashed potatoes. We're all finished up, guys. Just finishing our last glass of wine, and we're gonna speak about the price. We already paid, as you saw. The ticket comes beforehand, guys. The total was 8,300 Argentine pesos. In total, this came out to $20 USD. Sorprendente, no? Two empanadas, a generous small portion, that's how it's labeled on the menu, of fried calamari, la cazuela, my filet of fish with mashed potatoes, a bottle of Malbec, Sí, o sea, eso en cualquier país te puede, bueno, en otro país te puede salir por lo menos 150. En Estados Unidos solamente la botella no te baja de 32 dólares. En Exacto. la mayoría de los lugares. Más el tax y la propina como 40. Bueno, y está bueno, que es lo importante. Está bueno, es una bonita experiencia. A very, very good culinary experience, guys. I was a bit worried that we stayed too long with the sea lions. They're very addictive. You could just stay there hours just staring at them, watching sí. the males. Like, Literal, estamos como a cinco minutos máximo caminando del puerto. O sea, estamos en el puerto, pero a cinco minutos de ver los leones, sabes ahí. 
and everything else closed but we found this gem is still open people are still arriving have a look Look, they just said no one. So yeah guys, 20 bucks and this spot it takes all the boxes guys. If you want an authentic experience, a nice at home feel here, the chefs in there, they're they're very nice friendly outgoing, the waitress too. You have a guard dog here, the waitress takes care of him. It's it's a very good experience. I can recommend this place. I don't even know the name of it but Total. Whoa, whoa, I'll find it before leaving, guys. Alrighty, guys, that's that's the name of this spot, La Nona Yoka. I believe in Argentina, La Nona is like a grandmother. So that's a good name, guys. Where's Alejandro? Oh, she's over there with with the old timer, the the watchdog. Good boy. Good boy. See, sí, está muy viejito. You can see some of his wounds over here. Oh, pobrecito. Se pasó. Ay, no me toques. Es peligroso. Tiene la piel así como que por la sal, ¿no? Ajá, es la sal. Es la sal de acá. Want some love, man? This guy's been through some battles. Aside from the one that we saw earlier, the the waitress she takes care of him all the time. She's like, oh, he keeps getting in fights all the time. He doesn't stop. But yeah, he he's really getting up there in age. The taxi hunt is on, guys. We've been walking for what seems the ages. In the city of Mar del Plata, they don't, well, they recently just accepted one ride sharing service. But there's not that many people in it because it just started, so it's a taxi hunt. Nonetheless, we're walking down the food. I, I, I'm pretty stuffed, guys. I'm, I'm feeling like a baby blue whale right now. No sé. Estamos buscando un taxi. <laughs> 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 